Good morning everyone, it's Lean Beanie and hello Theme Thursday. I'm joining in, isn't that great? And I believe its theme is yellow. So to greet us we have Funshine Beer and somebody has had a really good feed in this morning and has fell asleep. But let's have a look at her. Here she is, Little Miss Sunshine. Here is gorgeous Jemima. And you saw a sneak peek last night of her little bow in her hair. And she's got a matching dummy. She's so sleepy. She's got a belly full of milk. And she just looks so cute, guys. Hang on, she is one of these babies that just likes to grab everything. You know, she's got a cloth. She's got a lovey. And there she is. She's in this gorgeous little baby grow. With Miss Funshine. Miss Sunshine, sorry. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the little mist. The Mr. Man and the little miss characters. I absolutely love them. I've got this character on one of my t-shirts, which is great. I should have worn it, actually. And I've got a mug with it on as well. So, happy theme Thursday, everyone. Why isn't this on? Oh, it is on. Sorry, I thought I wasn't recording. Bye, Am. That's good. Okay, so, also, I want to do Mia's uh, new tag. Called Mama said so I'll get right into that guys so the first question is which phrase did you hear your hear most from your mum a because I said so that's why B if all your friends jumped off a bridge does that mean you would C. Just wait till you have kids of your own. These made me laugh because I have heard these before. Um, and D. Other. And for me, I'm going to pick other. Um, because my mum was a cleanaholic. Yes, she used to drive me bonkers. And when we went shopping... She would clean all the house before we could go and she would actually hoover us out. Yes, guys. Anyway, um, so she was always um, saying, look at the state of your room. That's all I ever heard. And it was very tidy, but not to her standards. Number two, if you were, oh, if your mum was an animal... Uh, she would A, be a lion, B, a hen, or C, a hawk. And why? Um, I had to think about this because I was trying to visualise what characteristics all these animals had. Um, I suppose the nearest one is a hen because I see hens as, you know, Always with their chicks, always busy, always pecking. Um, and that's probably the relationship that I had with my mum. I was her only child and we're always together. And so as I grew up, she became like my best friend as well as my mum. And sadly, she's passed away, which is sad. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, we were so bonded because we spent every moment together when I was home and you know when I wasn't at school um yeah so she kept me under her wing there was disadvantages to that I didn't mix with kids outside school very much uh, it wasn't till I was 11 when I had one best friend down the road from me and I did spend some time at her house and if it wasn't for her I probably wouldn't have had uh, much of a social life um, 
yeah, so I guess she just wanted me to, be, you know, stick with her. Um, three, um, hands down, um, oh, right, my, the best thing that my mum's made, the best ever thing, hands down, that I've ever eaten, um, I'm not sorry, I'm not doing this question justice, am I? Hands down, mum makes the best blank I've ever eaten. So my blank would be um, cauliflower cheese. I know it's simple, it's just a cheese sauce and cauliflower. But it doesn't taste like hers. It just doesn't. <clears throat> Four, which... Ah, mummy white lie did you buy into the most? And the suggestions here are A, if you keep making that face, it will freeze that way. B, Santa or Easter Bunny Tooth Fairy is watching. Or, um, oh, or C, um, oh, I never acted like that at your age. <laughs> I'm in a minute I want to go through these questions again and answer them about me as a mum I think that would be quite fun I know um, what I'd say about that but my mum's white lie and it's, I mean it isn't A, B or C sorry it was it won't hurt <laughs> every time I went for any procedures she kept saying it's not going to hurt and I believed her <laughs> and it did and I was so cross. So I don't say that to my kids. Um, five. What one piece of advice from your mum do you refer, refer to most of your life? I've got to say this has been the best piece of advice my mum's ever given me. And it's it only takes two minutes instead of two hours. And what she meant by that was... It only takes two more minutes to put that thing in the bin and wash that plate up. Or it only takes two minutes to empty that bin. Sorry, did I say that already? Or, you know, it would just be things like packing your clothes away. You know, when you get them back from the washing. You know, it would only be like a few bits of underwear. Um, and it only takes two minutes to pack away. Um, or it only takes two minutes to dust a room. If it's done really regularly, it only takes that long. Instead of taking two hours. And she's so right. And I always do it now. And I get really annoyed. Um, sorry, my battery's going down. I get really annoyed when other people don't bother. <laughs> Nothing. Especially if it's going to add to my work pile. <laughs> Oh dear. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm still recording, so I have to come back. All right. Um, was I on the last question? Was that f five questions? Yeah. So I'll have to come back, guys, and give you my answers to these. All right, be back.